That, Jerry, I want to get to that very specific thing. I told the people earlier in the show that we were going to ask a question of you. Paul E. dangerously sat right there, and before a nationwide audience, he said, Brian Christopher is Jerry Lawler's uh, son, and that Brian has never acknowledged to the people here that Jerry Lawler is his father, and I don't blame him. That was Paul E.'s quote, and it, I'm going to ask you right now. Well, wait, a, wait a minute, first of all, before you even ask me, Lance. That was Paul E.'s quote, right? That's right. Paul E. Dangerously got on there no, and said right. it, right? On national television, Paul E. said okay, it. Okay, how long have you known Paul E. Dangerously? A no. uh, pretty good while, ever since he's been around the wrestling, I can tell you that. Right, and I have too. And how truthful do you know Paul E. Dangerously to be? I mean, in other words, so Paul E. Dangerously makes a statement, all of a sudden, that's gospel. All of a sudden, everybody in the wrestling world is talking about what Paul E. Dangerously said. Paul E. Dangerously makes the statement that I'm Brian Christopher's father, and everybody believes it all of a sudden is that what you're saying is that does that make it the truth because paulie says that well he said it on national television and i think that uh, probably is why a lot of people are saying paulie wouldn't go up there and say something like that well, although no, paulie, now that you paulie mentioned wouldn't it lie, right paulie wouldn't lie. <laughs> well i didn't say that now so what are you asking me lance i am asking you are you brian christopher's father that's what we are just flat out wanting to get an answer to the question right here today all right i'll tell you what i'll tell you what i wish that I had a dollar for every time I'd been asked that, Lance, because I, I wouldn't it. have to wrestle anymore. I've been asked that a million times. And I'll tell you what, I will, I will answer that question. Well, that's why we came. Have, what, we got a little more time? I'll tell you what, I'll come back. I'll come back. Ah, oh, now wait a minute. I'll come back and I'll answer you, okay? Now your promise be you're coming back. Okay, there's the king. Well, that was the answer we got, Stacy. Uh, I'll come back. That's yeah. what he has to say. I Is think. Show? You think you'll come back today? Uh, well, I didn't think of it that way. I certainly am expecting him back out here answer. today. We received a letter this week, to get Jerry, and it's from the ECW. Uh, obviously written in crayon. Well, it's complaining about the way that Tommy Dreamer was treated. You might was stand treated. over here a minute. I think you're just right over here. Well, you're, you're fine right there. There you go. Well, yeah, they're, all over. they're complaining the way that Tommy Dreamer was treated by the USWA and by the officials when he came here to the USWA. And they're, they're I, I'll be honest with you. I wish I could tell you what we, I wish I could well, read the read letter. It. Well, there are words in there oh, that... Yeah, you can read it, but there are words in there that aren't going to be said on television, I can assure you. And uh, the English is a little uh, that's not, broken. Uh, yeah, that's, the well, uh, you're right. There's words that can't be said on television. Hey, you know what? I don't care, Michael, if the ECW is upset with me. I don't care if, if Tommy Dreamer or the Sandman or Paul E. Dangerously or all of those idiots from ECW are upset with me. I want them upset with me. Do you understand that? I want to invite them right here to the USWA any chance they want to come here because I got something for you. Do you know what I'm talking about? So anytime, any place, come on down. Well, there's, now, there's one other question, and it's a burning question on everybody's mind, and, and you know the question I'm about to ask. And should I... Go ahead and say it one more time. No, you don't even have to say it. Everybody knows what you're about to ask. Everybody knows what the burning question is. What? First of all, you know, I've been thinking about this all week long. And it's like, what is the big deal? I mean, you know, I, I, was, I was up in the WWF last week, and, I, and, and here's the city of Vince McMahon and Jim Ross. They're all talking about it. Everybody on the Internet's talking about it. Everybody in the sheets is talking about it. Everybody out in TV land's talking about it. You know what? You know when wrestling used to be really good? When there was just a little bit of mystique in it. You know, when there was a little something left to the imagination. Nowadays, everybody wants to know everything about everybody, all about their personal life and all about every little thing about everything. Hey, you know what? I, had, I went to see Jurassic Park last week, and I sat there and I enjoyed that movie. You know why I enjoyed it? Because Steven Spielberg didn't come popping up the screen every 30 seconds saying, hey, these aren't real dinosaurs. Okay, you see what I mean? You know what? There's some things that are just a little better left to the imagination. I'm a big Cleveland Indians fan. You know that. Been all my life, right? I used to like, I used to like Albert Bell. Then all of a sudden, Albert Bell comes along, and Chicago White Sox offering $55 million. He takes off the Cleveland uniform, puts on a White Sox uniform. All of a sudden, you know, it makes me realize, hey, these guys don't really care what team they're playing for. 
So it made me a little bit less of a baseball fan because that's personal business. Hold you know on what I mean? now, what? hold on now. It's, what? it's a simple question. Well, I'm giving a simple answer. I'm telling these people why it's none of their business. You know what I mean? It's none of anybody's business what my personal life is. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Michael, what's your telephone number? Well, I, yeah, it's my no, business. come on, what's your home telephone number? Come on, let's tell everybody, what's your telephone number? Well, uh, it's something that you I don't, don't want to give it out, do no, you? No, not on television. Because it's your own personal business, Absolutely, right? Absolutely. How much course. income tax did you pay last year, Michael? Well, that's, that's my personal business. Right. Here. There are some things that are people's personal business, and you don't want to necessarily tell that. Because I don't want to share my whole life with everybody out there. I think they're better off knowing me inside the ring and knowing that I can kick somebody's butt when I step into the ring, and they don't need to know all my personal business. Do you understand that? Can you people understand that? So the, hey. the question is, but the question was asked. I mean, you know, a lot of people want to know. A lot of people has asked me, and they just want to know. It's a simple, it's a simple yes or no question, well, and they I wanted just... you, you to answer it. Well, I ain't answering it. I ain't telling. Okay. Well, if, hey, if you're not gonna answer it, I guess I can answer it, right? No, you can't answer. It. Well, why can't? Why can I not answer? It? Because I said you're not answering. It. Because you said so. That's right. Yeah. That's my business, okay? You understand that? Well, I guess that's the answer. I understand. Well, that's the answer. I guess I can't answer it. He said so. I can't answer it. Oh, okay. You want to answer it? Yeah, I would like to answer it. Well, go ahead and try it. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. oh, wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Wait a minute. He said I can answer it. I'll tell you what. Let me answer it. Everyone. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Now. Jerry Lawler and Brian Christopher, a little altercation here. Could this be? The King telling Brian Christopher to get in the ring. He's got a got a match right here, and the question.